Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of June and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. <clears throat> now Aquarius there is an extended reading for this one uh, the link for the same is in description box and comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person okay so let's get started and by the way as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned we'll see what is your energy and what is the energy of the person you're thinking about you're dealing with or you will be dealing with Okay, so let's get started. Hmm. So Aquarius, we have eight of pentacles for you. Then we have death and rebirth, then three of swords, then we have three of cups, okay, interesting, you may be seeing a lot of 333, a lot of 888, you may be dealing with a Scorpio, Libra, uh, Aries, I'm also hearing Capricorn, if the sign pops up all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs Aquarius as far as your person is concerned we have six of cups we have Sun nine of swords and we have ten of swords interesting a lot of swords energy over here you may be dealing with another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius okay all right so this is your energy aquarius we have eight of pentacles death and rebirth three of swords and three of cups hmm. aquarius eight of pentacles so uh, you're working hard towards something you're working really really hard probably you're working even on Saturdays and Sundays, okay? Uh, there is a lot of uh, determination and dedication and devotion towards something, okay? You have isolated yourself from many people, okay? You have reduced socialization. Uh, look at the way this person is focused on this pentacle. Maybe you are also focused on building up your finances, Okay, these pentacles are increasing and you have kept a certain targets for yourself, Aquarius, maybe uh, you want to buy a home. I don't know if you're able to see this. Uh, you probably want to buy a home. You want to buy a car uh, by the end of this year, uh, but you have certain targets for yourself. You also want to save up some money for yourself. Okay, and I don't see you're a big fan of loans. Okay but you are accumulating money for your future you probably also want to retire early okay you you are like i want to retire by 30 i want to retire by 40 okay whatever it is but you are like when i retire i want to have enough amount of cash flow with me okay so there is there is a level of dedication and devotion towards building up wealth and maybe there is also a thought process behind this the thought process is about you also want to make wealth so that your future generations can have an easy life i mean not that you don't want them to work hard but maybe you and your previous generations uh, you have seen how life looks when money is a problem within a family 
okay i mean when when there is financial crunch and all that stuff and you have seen that very closely probably so this is something that is quite fixated in your mind since childhood aquarius that i want to make money and i don't want to just help myself but i also want to help my future generations and i don't see aquarius that this is something uh that is related to uh having a lavish or a luxurious lifestyle no that's not why you are trying to build up wealth for yourself i don't see, i i don't even see that you prob- you are a you are a spendthrift or you spend on yourself a lot can you see the clothes of this person he is wearing tone clothes so you don't mind having a humble life or a humble lifestyle okay the pers- uh, having said so it doesn't also mean that uh, you are a a uh, you uh, frugal lifestyle you are having you are having a frugal lifestyle no that is also not the case okay but you are not a friend a spendthrift okay you 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 don't like spending on luxurious uh, things okay you are more focused and determined on creating and building a building wealth for yourself and for your future generations and not just uh, limited to your next uh, legs uh, to your immediate legacy that is not just limited to your own children but you want this to run within for, you want to create a wealth for many future generations okay uh mm, aquarius uh, what are you feeling sad about three of swords next to death and rebirth uh did you lose someone in the recent past or did you lose someone in last couple of years and the memory of that person is not ready to go away from your mind body and soul maybe you have lost someone very close to you and some of you some of you lost multiple people in last 2 to 3 years who were who were very close to you and that thought literally like it it haunted you at that point of time when you lost people back to back uh, it is not necessary for every single of single one of you that you have lost someone in your life or you have lost multiple people in your life but that's the energy i'm getting you're still not able to forget that person i mean it's it's of course it is difficult to forget anyone who who was so close to you and who who passes away uh, all of a sudden uh, but probably it's like it's been a while now this person has passed away but maybe three of swords right maybe since last 2 to 3 months you are uh you may be feeling this person's energy or uh, you sit in your room and you cry out thinking about this person a uh, lot of memories about this person are running at the back of your mind and then you start crying all of a sudden okay there is a this is a very strong intense energy someone who passed away is popping up in your mind again and again and you're feeling very sad for some of you this may be a parent of yours for some of you this may be an old ex of yours okay like this person was you guys were on good terms things just did not work out and this probably this person passed away due to excessive alcohol or because of some addiction but you guys loved one another okay and this person is popping up in your mind for some of you uh, one of your ex uh, sorry uh, for some of you one of your parents is uh, 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 they may have passed away in last couple of years or last couple of months and they are popping up in your mind every now and then it's a heavy energy aquarius it is a heavy energy and let me tell you it's like uh this 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 demise may have happened all of a sudden okay and you are not able to forget this person it was a shock for you this incident was a shock for you three of cups is you want to forget this event you want to f- move on okay you you want to move on i mean 
it's not that you are irritated by the memories of this person but it's been a while and you are making yourself understand that it's time for you to move on it's time for you to find happiness and become happy all over again for some of you uh for some of you there is an altogether different energy aquarius maybe someone who broke your heart in the past okay they are still in you are uh, still in your energy you thought that the situation or the connection with this person was over but then we have three of cups next to three of swords so maybe you guys will reconnect all over again and you may find that this person has changed to a large extent and they may come towards you with an apology and three of cups is li is like a happy reunion with this person okay so there is a possibility that you may reconnect with with your ex for some of you for some of you this is an energy of someone who passed away okay as far as your person is concerned we have 6 of cups the sun 9 of swords and 10 of swords yes someone is in extreme pain aquarius that you guys are not together someone is missing you a lot someone is missing you absolutely aquarius okay they they want you they want you back and they will come back this person is crying is what i'm getting oh my god oof why <laughs> okay mm. Aquarius let me tell you some of you guys are manifesting your past person back okay and this person you probably you guys had a very strong connection and this person is trying to reconnect with you okay it was a very intense connection and you guys even without saying a word a word one person used to understand what is going on in the mind of the other person and there was a very strong energetic connection between both of you like even if you guys were staying miles apart still one person used to understand what is going on in the mind of the other person without conversing without communicating through text messages or calls okay that is how strong intense connection this was and it was of course vice versa as well both of you used to understand one another's energy that is why there is a strong presence of this person within your energy aquarius this was a very strong uh, intense connection and if you don't want this person then you will have to cut the cords with this person you will have to do the ritual to cut the cords with this person because this is a very intense energy trust me and this person is not able to forget you this pro probably this person is a karmic soulmate of yours for some of you they are not able to forget you and this person is trying to connect with you energetically and they don't want you also to forget them they don't want you to forget them they want you to think about them they want you to uh, manifest them by by thinking they know that you are an amazing psychic they know that you can manifest things really fast in your life they are also a very good psychic they are also very good with their energy with their with their intuition six of cups and sun aquarius there is another possibility uh, that a new person this is the energy of the past person this is the energy of the new person there is a past life soulmate this is not a karmic soulmate there is a past life soulmate who is popping up in your life okay and this person is going to give you the much needed happiness and if you are finding it extremely difficult to forget the past person to remove the past person from your energetic uh zone this new person will help you remove the past toxic energy okay this new person is is the light at the end of the tunnel this new person is your past life soulmate and this is the one with whom you're going to marry not the past person no All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section okay bye bye then